Welcome back to the SolidWorks Live studio here in the 3D Experience Playground at 3D Experience World 2020. We've uh, been broadcasting the entirety of the show. In fact, uh, we have a shot. We can kind of look out over the crowd. You, if you're interested, if you're here at 3D Experience World, you can kind of come join us here. And uh, we're going to be doing interviews all day. We're going to be talking with partners, customers, and uh, this afternoon, as we come back, I'm actually joined here by Sarah Youngins and Charles Bonasur uh, with Dassault Systems and SolidWorks. Welcome, guys. Thank you for having us. Thank you. So, uh, Sarah, let's start with you. You're actually, you have a whole area here inside of the playground that you've been working in all week called uh, the Education Zone. Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what the Education Zone is? Sure. The Education Zone is an area that we have provided uh, students to come and display their vehicles and their or their product designs that they've created using um, SolidWorks uh, as they are part of our uh, SolidWorks um, uh, student sponsorship program. Uh, there are a lot of local schools here. We have 10 Tennessee Tech here with their Formula SAE car. We also have Tennessee Tech representing their Baja SAE car. We have people that have come as far as India, part of the Accruti team in competition, uh, Louisiana Tech, Dripping Springs High School, and uh, the uh, 3D Experience Education uh, program called the Social Collaboration Experience is also here, which is a, a great new thing that we've added um, in lieu that this is a 3D Experience world now. We wanted to include um, a bit of the platform within the EDU's as well. So Charles, I mean, the 3D Experience Education Department's kind of a, something really exciting that we're doing and you've brought this social collaborative experience here to 3D Experience World. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing there. Um, in fact, what we did this year is quite unique. Uh, we brought four students and we invited four students from various countries. Uh, we have two students from India, one student from France and the other one from uh, here in Nashville. And what we thought about is what about creating a 15 hours hackathon or workshop uh, for them to work all together on the same time during those three days uh, using the 3D experience platform. So what they did is um, they spent 15 hours and it it's ends tomorrow at noon. Uh, and the goal was to create sleeping headquarters of a submarine. And to do so, they use the 3D experience platform and various applications such as SolidWorks. Uh, they use also Delmia, uh, Simulia, and they design and simulate the entire sleeping quarters of a submarine. And it was amazing to see how they use the 3D experience platform and the dashboard that they have at their disposal to share, communicate, and improve the design of the sleeping headquarters. Um, and it was very yeah, nice to see, and I'm looking forward to see the final results. So are these individual teams, is this a hackathon where they're working together or, they wor or is this a competition? They are on the same table, but they, you, you can imagine that they are in different countries because the rules what you don't have to talk uh, to your neighbor and uh, you just have to work on your side and when you have to communicate, you have to use the platform. So we created this workshop and it's exactly the same situation if they uh, were staying in, uh, in India, in France and in the United States. They were just using the platform to communicate, to improve their design. They were not chatting and we were here to help uh, in any case, but uh, we didn't have to, to help them a lot. So they may not have been chatting side by side, but they were definitely communicating and chatting with each other on the platform, right. whether or not they're using communities or they're using conversations on the platform. They're able to easily communicate with each other there using those tools as well. Exactly. We prepared for them a, a complete dedicated dashboards with uh, various tabs in order for them to share their work and be able to communicate between each other. And, uh, and we realized, and it was uh, the, the first time it happened at uh, 3D Experience World, uh, that kind of workshop, it's really, it's really uh, highlights the fact that students today are using the 3D Experience platform to communicate, share ideas, and, uh, and make great projects. And work together seamlessly. Yeah. So is there a place where people can go learn more about 3D ex the 3D Experience Education Department or the Social Collaborative Experience? Is there a website or anything somebody could go visit? Sure. Um, beyond this uh, Social Collaborative Experience that uh, was here at 3D Experience World, we offer to any students participating to a challenge, whatever the student challenge is, 
a, a global package of app content and services for free. So you can imagine that students participating to a Formula Students or a First Robotic, they can just visit academy.3ds.com. It's a, our academic website where okay. they can download for free uh, our license and then start their project. Okay, yeah, so we have that website uh, up on, uh, on the stream with us right now. They should be seeing that at home. So as they finish up here, what's going to happen next with this program here at 3D Experience World? So you said they'll, they'll wrap up tomorrow. What are the next steps in this program? Are we going to reveal kind of their fi the, what, what's happened with them? Yeah, and the next step that we are going to communicate on the communities, on the online communities, on the 3D Experience communities, and we are going to uh, make some interviews of those students. Uh, they are going to be transformed into our champions uh, and be integrated into our champions program. Uh, tomorrow at noon, we'll do a little ceremony with their diploma. Our VP, Valérie Ferret from the 3D Experience EDU department is here, so she will also take the, 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 the picture with, with them and uh, we will stay in touch with them because they are uh, very great students and they, uh, they did a great project and uh, we will unveil everything tomorrow uh, at noon. Sounds really exciting. Can you explain a little bit what the Champions program is? Yeah, the Champions program is um, when you are a student and you are, uh, for instance, participating to a student challenge or that you are participating to a DASO system event, you uh, earn points and those points uh, then uh, give you access to a certain level of badge uh, from silver to platinum. Uh, and depending on the, the, the badge level you have, you have specific benefits that you can uh, benefit from. This sounds like a really exciting program for students to get involved and really prepare themselves into the future. And I assume the champions are also the types of, of students and uh, people who want to get involved more with other people in education, and they may want to mentor other students uh, like that. So Sarah, I want to come back to you. Tomorrow's a really exciting day here yes. at 3D Experience World. Tell yes. us what tomorrow's going to be all about. Sure. Student Day. It's day three of this conference is traditionally known as Student Day. This is when we give students that are uh, 17 and younger an opportunity to attend the conference. We have local schools that are coming tomorrow. We have probably about 250 students and teachers that are coming tomorrow to participate. They get the opportunity to go through the playground and really uh, speak with our partners. We have two specific sessions that are dedicated to them. Uh, the first session is a, a student panel discussion. We have um, invited uh, three uh, customers uh, to come and speak to the students and to basically give them advice. Uh, what would you tell your 17-year-old self? What kind of advice would you give them to better prepare themselves for college or for going out into the workforce? Uh, we're really looking forward to that. We have some great companies that are going to be participating with us. Uh, and then uh, we also have, this is our second year doing this, is a job fair. We've invited all of the college and university attendees here at 3D Experience World to come to the job fair. We've invited um, all of our customers that are attending uh, if they would like to participate, if they're looking for entry level positions, um, internships, uh, this is where the students will be able to meet with our customers, chat with them, and to hopefully leave here with an internship or a job. Is there some place where folks participating either at 3D Experience World or folks at home who may be interested in coming next year can get involved in participating in the job fair? Absolutely. Post-event will be um, providing information via social media about more about what they can um, find um, for next year's event, uh, the sessions that we'll be having. Uh, we'd love to have more students want to participate in this, but yes, we'll be providing more information on our website and through social media. Okay, yeah, so stay tuned to the, just the SolidWorks.com? Uh, uh, SolidWorks one? Education, basically SolidWorks EDU. SolidWorks EDU, okay. So uh, this has been great. I, uh, I'm really excited to see what's going to happen tomorrow. We start off student day with probably one of the, a very iconic speaker oh, yes. at general session tomorrow. Yes, We're going to yes. talk about uh, FIRST Robotics. Yes. We even have a, a VIP section set aside for the students uh, right up front so that they can get right up close and see Dean. 
Yeah, Dean came in. Uh, for those uh, who are in, who are at home and tuning into the live stream tomorrow, I don't think this was a surprise, was it? That no, I just no, broke? Okay. not a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow morning at general session, we're actually going to have Dean came in here, and he is going to be talking about first and you know how impactful that is to students looking at growing their careers, whether it's in robotics, manufacturing, engineering, all STEM, basically at that point. So, uh, Sarah. Uh, I want to th and Charles, I want to thank you both for taking time out of your days to come here. I know you have lots of exciting <laughs> stuff, so it was probably hard to pull you yeah. away from that. Um, if I get a break, I want to come over there and see you. Please but do. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, so we have a lot of exciting things coming up yet. In a little, stay tuned. In a little while, we're going to be taking a look at the uh, 3D experience for good, but. Yesterday afternoon, I actually had a great opportunity to stop by the Lenovo booth. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that was.